Hi everyone. Um, I had showed when I did my sewing room tour uh, the uh, Halloween fabric bunting that I did on the wall. Um, I'm just want to show you real quick how I did that. Um, in case you want to make some, um, it's real easy. So, I still have some Halloween print. And, uh, you're going to need, I'm going to tell you the supplies that you will need. Um, you will need five inches square. Um, you can do this any size really a 10 by 10 or a 6 by 6 um, any size it really don't matter um, but the size that I used um, was a 5 by 5 square and so you just pick out the fabrics you want I'm not gonna do a real long one um, I may do some more I'm not sure what I'm gonna do um, let's see, I got some pumpkins, I'm going to do some skulls, um, I'm going to do some of those, and some of the candy, um, the zigzag, I'm going to do some of these, and some of these, that and some of the ghosts I think I'm gonna get creative here <laughs> so anyways um, you have the fabrics that you want and this project what you're going to do is you can chain piece these you know it goes very quick um, you will so you'll need your five inch squares you'll need your sewing machine um, any kind of thread I'm using a variegated purple thread so it'll go good with, with this um, you will also need um, some ribbon and I'm going to use this purple ribbon right here and an iron um, and your scissors. So what we're going to do is you're going to take your five inch square and you're going to fold it in a triangle like this. Okay and then you're going to sew down and it don't matter what side but you're going to sew down one side and so I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick and I'm going to show you this is what you're gonna do you're gonna sew just right down that line like you you got it folded in a triangle and you're gonna sew it right down the line I'll do another one um, let's do the, the skulls so you're gonna fold it it's gonna be like right sides together pretty side together you're gonna fold it just like this into a triangle and then you're just going to take one side and you're just going to sew it mm -hmm. 
Now you can chain piece these. Just make sure you, you fold it into a circle. I'm just sewing. So you're just going to keep sewing. And I'm just chain piecing them. So you're going to fold it in triangle. And then you're going to sew down one end. So you want to sew until how many ever you want. I'm just going to sew a few here. Okay. Now, um, You've got it all, you're going to have it all like this. And then you're just going to trim your threads. Now, this will be the time for you to take it to your iron. And you're going to press them. Now, here's the thing, what I want to show you to do. So, the way you're going to do this is you're going to you're going to flip it inside out and make sure you got something sharp like I got my chopstick here and then you're going to poke out that you're going to poke your don't go all the way to your fabric just poke and then what you're going to do is you have this seam, you're going to have a seam like, I don't know if you can see, it's, it's, you can see up here, it's the seam right here. You need to make sure you've got it lined up in the middle. You kind of can hold it like this and then make sure it's in the middle. And then you're going to press it. You're going to press it like this. Now you have this little flap here. And then you can press it down. And 
and it's going to look like this. So I'll do another one. Okay. They're going to come to look like this. So you're going to take it. Sometimes I might cut off that little end right there. So, I'm going to get all these done. So, I'm going to do one more. You're going to take it, go press it, and make sure this seam line, and you can do it like this, how I'm doing it. And press it. And then so it's going to look like this. You're going to have that little that little flap like that. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the camera and I'm going to get all these flipped and ironed and then I'll be back. Okay. I thought I'd just come back on. And all I did was flip them all over. So now I'm going to take them and I'm going to poke out the bottom ends. I'm going to do it just like that. I'm going to take it and poke them. I like this fabric bunting here. I think it's easy and you don't have to sit there and try to cut up every triangle. Um, it's just too, you know. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take them over here to the ironing board and I'm going to give them a press. Make sure your seam is in the middle and all. Okay. <laughs> I'm thinking about doing some of these for my daughter's um, baby shower getting some baby fabric and putting this up and really decorating it. I think that would be really cute. Okay, now that you've got them all pressed, like this, now what you're going to do is you're going to, they're all going to be facing, you're going to turn them facing up like this. So, you want to have it which way you want them to go, but you're going to keep them up like this. Now you're going to take your ribbon, and I'm just, and you're going to leave a little bit out just a little bit out. And what you're going to do is, I will pin this so you can see what I'm doing.
standing up. You're going to do it just like this. Okay. Your flap, I mean your ribbon, it's going to go like this. That's going to close over your ribbon. And a lot of times I don't pin it. You can if you want to. But it's going to look just like this. And then you're going to keep going and going and adding and stopping. Now you're going to do it at the top. So. I'm going to back stitch. And then I'm just going to keep going. You're going to stitch right at the top. You're going to take, you're going to use your flap, and that's what's going to go. So y'all see how I'm doing that? I'm laying the ribbon. I'm laying the ribbon right here and folding it over and then sewing right straight across. Right, don't sew on the bottom, you want to sew on the top. And then you're just going to keep feeding your ribbon. Leave maybe about an inch and then put your ribbon. Leave a space like an inch between. And then just sew it. You might sew on the ribbon a little bit, but that's alright. You're going to leave about an inch. And it just depends on how you prefer. You can do an inch. You can space them apart. However you tend to want to do it. Whoops. Okay. through. My foot's getting tired. Okay. Fold over. And you are done. Now, face you back over here. And I'll show you the results. And it's going to look. Now, this is how your bunting is going to look. Just like this. You see that? That's how it's going to look. Just like this. Just like that. And this is the back. So you got your little flap that's under your ribbon. And I so much like this. Um, because then you got to use like the bias binding and all that good stuff. But I like this better. Um, it's quick and easy. You can use ribbon. However you want to do it.
and there you go that's how you make the bunting so I hope <coughs> 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 Excuse me. <clears throat> Here's my wash rag I did. <clears throat> the boot crew. And I did it on a washcloth. <clears throat> oh, I need a drink. <clears throat> so that's what I did. On a washcloth. And then here's some more of these little fabric bags I made with the ribbon handle. And I'll do a tutorial on this. But I just wanted to show you how to do this bunting. So I hope you like this video. Please like and subscribe and leave comments down below. See you on the next video. Bye-bye.